Meet Vanilla Bean. I love my cat, but she sheds. Like, a lot. Fortunately, I found something that will fix that. Here on Tech Talk. This is the Uproot and Clean, advertised on Facebook and Instagram. It's a simple handheld device that has two metallic rigid rods that are supposed to help pick up pet hair and lint a lot better than most products. And let me tell you, when it picks up, it picks up a lot. Now before this, I did have another device called the Chum Chum that I got from uh, Amazon. Now with this one, it uses static electricity where it has, you know, carpet material on the bottom. And of course, it also has these uh, rubber uh, ends that helps to collect the fur. And for a time, it was good. It was then that I decided it was time to find out which product collected the most fur. For two weeks, I did absolutely nothing to my rug, allowing fur and lint to collect. Even my third party Roomba didn't stand a chance as it only barely scratched the surface. With distractions put aside and contestants at the starting line, it was time to start the competition, starting with the Chum Chum. Clocking at 9 minutes and 28 seconds later, the Chum Chum collected a good amount, and from a distance, the rug looked spotless. However, upon a closer look, you can see that the constant back and forth would still leave remnants of fur and lint on the rug. Now, it's time to give the uproot a try. Ironically, at the same amount of time, the uproot finished its side of the rug, and with a closer look, I barely saw any fur or lint left. As for what I collected, let's just say it was quite the handful. It's obvious you can tell which one did a better job. In fact, I did a quick sweep on the Chum Chum side to see that there was still fur left versus how much was left from the uproot side. I even took the liberty of redoing the Chum Chum side with the uproot tool and got a decent amount of fur left over, which means the Chum Chum doesn't clean deep enough. Looking at them side to side, it's obvious who the winner is, as the Chum Chum is based on friction, whereas the Uproot literally does what its namesake is. It uproots and cleans. Now, I'm sure people are wondering, why put so much work when you can get a vacuum made to pick up animal fur? Well, I tried that before I bought the Uproot and realized it's using the same technique as the Chum Chum, 
where it relies on friction to pick up the lint and fur, which can be effective on some things, but still doesn't deep clean. The only downside to the uproot is that when it comes to woven material, it will pick up the string or other parts and can actually damage your woven item. So hopefully, if they see this video, they will have made something that will pick up woven material without destroying it. So there you have it. Uproot is my go-to for fur cleaning needs. I even found out that they have a bigger one that covers more ground, as well as a small one for shirts that I have yet to try. If you are interested in purchasing this product, I will leave their link below. I'm not paid to work for them, and I don't get any benefits out of it. So make sure you check out their Instagram page and show them not only where you got the info from, but how effective their product works. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know how the product works for you. Until next time, guys, this is Naisha Marine, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.